Hey, it's your boy S.O. Shonda Wonder here again. Um, this time, uh, last time I had a video, a window shopping video that I hope you all enjoyed. And today, um, I have my post E3 2021 thoughts. So if you saw my previous video, I wasn't really that hyped about E3 this year compared to other years, just because it was an all digital event. But, um, yeah, I still kind of wasn't, I, I just went on as days went by just looking up random trailers and stuff. I didn't watch like a whole presentation or anything like that. But I did find some interesting things. Uh, the first thing that caught me was that there's going to be a Metal Slug tactical RPG. Like, what? No, I don't think anybody anticipated that. Uh, I believe the artwork, like the sprite work, is done by an artist called DS Lugi. I follow him on Instagram. Um, it's a really, he has some really good artwork and it does fit, fit the Metal Slug um, aesthetic. Um, but yeah, um, Metal Slug is a game series I always want to play. I think I maybe tried like a teensy bit of it in the arcade sometime, but I never got to sit down and actually play a Metal Slug from beginning to end before. But yeah, I would definitely be interested in getting a Metal Slug um, strategy RPG. I believe it's only for Nintendo Switch, it might be for the other systems too, but... I don't know, I definitely need to get around to getting a Switch soon. Um, speaking of Switches, they also announced an Advance Wars remake, like, for, or remake for Advance Wars 1 and 2. Um, yeah, that's really exciting. And I really like the first Advance Wars. I had played it first, I think the first time I played it was 2011 or 2012. Um, back for the uh, Game Boy event on, a, on the Game Boy Advance emulator. I played a lot of it, um, but I never actually got to beat the game. I tried like two or three times to beat it. I just couldn't. Um, I think the last time I tried, I had ended up with like the worst possible team you can end up with in the game against the final mission. And I think I ended up, I think the team was with Andy, the sniper guy. And I can't remember who the third one was, but I had got the worst possible outcome team. And it's basically it's almost impossible to beat him with that team, so I sort of just gave up on over the years after I tried to get advice online and still couldn't beat him. But, yeah, um, hopefully, well, I still don't have a Nintendo Switch, but I plan on getting this, and eventually, maybe I'll be able to beat it this time. It comes with Advance Wars 1 and 2. I, I like it, the art style. Um, it just gets a, you have to get used to it not being sprites this time around because they're using 3D models, but I still think it looks good. Uh, we'll definitely catch that whenever I get a Nintendo Switch, but at this point I got so many other games I want to play before it. Um, aside from that, hmm, I know there was at least one other thing. Oh yeah, Kazuya got announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which really caught me off surprise. I didn't think they were going to put any more fighting game characters in there. So now we got Ryu from Street Fighter, Ryu and Ken representing Street Fighter. We got Terry from K um, King of Fighters repping, and now we have Kazuya. All we need now is a Mortal Kombat rep. <laughs> For real, just to represent the biggest uh, fighting game franchises. Uh, I sort of feel like you probably won't see a Mortal Kombat character in there, just because I, I don't think Japanese players really care about Mortal Kombat. It's like, it seems like it's only really America that cares about Mortal Kombat. But yeah, um, still need to switch again. Uh, still haven't played no Smash Brothers. It's been like three or four years now since the Switch been out. But yeah. Um, oh, Nintendo also showed off um, Breath of the Wild 2. It's just another cutscene where we really even get any play gameplay. Whatever. Nothing really to care to talk about there. Uh, Nintendo always has a good um, presentation with their Treehouse Lives. They got to see a live demo of Shin Megami Tensei 5. Looks cool. This is going to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive to, um, which I'm kind of surprised about. I was thinking since Persona series has been on PS4, Shin Megami Tensei 5 will at least be for both systems, for PS4 and PS5. Um, I mean, for Switch and PS5. And I uh, also saw an extended look at Super Mario, at the Super Mario Golf um, Tour game. That looks really fun too. Um, really, the Nintendo Switch looks like it's like the best console ever. It, it just has so many amazing looking games on there. Um, 
Aside from those, I can't remember if I saw anything else that interests me, really. A lot of people talked about Elden Ring. I didn't really care about it. Is it a Lord of Rings game or something? I don't, I don't know. For oh, there's one more thing I forgot to talk about. So, um, it wasn't really E3 2021, but I think it was about maybe the week prior, PlayStation had their State of Play event, and they showed off um, for Horizon Forbidden West. And that, that gameplay looked tight, like, oh, I like the improvements of it. The game looked, um, looked like it's definitely, the graphics went up some, even though I can't really tell with, I was watching the PS4 foot, I mean the PS5 footage off of my PS4 on my TV that's not like, uh, it's not a 4K TV, which I think PS5 games go up to 4K. So I can't really tell like how this will actually look at like max settings on a PlayStation 5. But it looked amazing. There's a new glide mechanic, a grapple hook mechanic, the new like mammoth um, enemy looks tight. Um, they added more um, attacks for the spear, which I, I wanted in the first game as well. Um, yeah, it was just um, a really cool little demonstration they showed off. I'm eager to see what happens in this game, what's going to be um, improved um, gameplay-wise. don't really care. I'm not really that interested in how the story progresses this time. The last one, it felt like the story is final. From what I remember, it's been a while since I beat it. But I'm definitely just uh, eager to play more of this game with this action and hunting down robot the dinosaurs and other animals. <laughs> but all right. Um, I think that's it for E3 2021 stuff. That interests me. But the most what the fuck thing I saw was the Final Fantasy IX is getting an animated series. I just saw, for, heard about this baby two days ago. I was randomly decided to go on the internet and check the reset error. And that was the first thread that popped up. I was like, what? That is like the most random shit ever. It's been 21 years since Final Fantasy IX came out. And all of a sudden it's getting an animated series. Like it has gotten no spin-offs or direct sequels since since it's been out and now it's getting an animated series. Like it pops up from time to time and um and span us like the little references or whatever. But I would think seven, ten, like a bunch of Final Fantasies would get it before nine. Like the only it could only be more random, but they decided to adapt like Final Fantasy two or three for an animated series. Also, the, those are the games really nobody really talks about ever. But yeah, it's just so weird. It's Bob. It's going to be produced by I think the it's called Cyber Project or Cyber Group. Um, looking at the profile, somebody told me they have a lot of like really small chip like most of the shows seem like they're aimed towards the smallest children like preschoolers and on down uh, which doesn't give me good hopes for this he said it's aimed towards 8 to 13 year olds which I don't know I guess that's fine because I was 10 years old at the time I played Final Fantasy um, nah. but just still hearing that makes me feel like they're gonna dumb down some stuff whenever I hear shit like that because, uh, you know, TV shows have, in the past, have been um, told not to say the word death or die or stuff like that in there. So I don't want them cut out shit like that when it's integral to the story and whatnot. But um, I have good hopes for it, but just looking at the resume of the animation studio that's doing it, I feel like it's, uh, it's going to be too kidding. But yeah, guys, that's it for um, my thoughts about E3 2021. I still need to go back and watch some of the panels they had uh, for this year. Like I was, as I mentioned earlier, I was interested in uh, some of the Black Gamer panels they was gonna talk about. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below what y'all thought about this year's E3. And next time I see y'all, we'll have a Persona 5 um, drip tier rank in the contest i mean eh. uh, next time i see y'all have a persona 5 drip tier ranking video all right see y'all next time peace